Hello there. This is Randy. I thought I would bring you a little something because I see these items coming up in different sales. And I really wanted to go into some more depth on the material. So what you're looking at uh, is a genuine jet necklace. Uh, the it was on a chain. The chain is broken, so I've got the beads, and and I have plans uh, of basically restringing it. It's just on my back burner of projects. Um, I believe it belonged to my great grandmother because of the the material used. So jet is a type of lignite which is the lowest grade of coal. Uh, it is not a mineral. Uh, it's, it's considered a mineraloid, whatever that means. Uh, now jet is either black like this or very dark brown and it comes in two forms, uh, hard and soft. However, both forms have the same hardness on the Mohs scale of hardness, which is between 2.5 and 4, and that's very soft. Okay, now one way to tell that it is jet uh, is, let me get this where you can see it well is touching the tip of a red hot needle uh, into a place like here, like inside the side of the bead. Uh, and you will smell the coal color. Uh, another way to tell if it's real jet is uh, you, you can rub it on, on something and it will emit an electrical charge, which apparently is what amber is, does as well. Now, if you take this jet bead and you rub it on a piece of unglazed white china, it will leave a, a smudge. Uh, I've, I've tried it on white paper. It, 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 there's a little mark, but, you know, not very substantial. Now, while jet is very easy to carve. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Um, I'm very delicate. Uh, now, jet has been used in jewelry since the Neolithic period. We're talking way back. Uh, it was very popular through the Bronze Age and into the Roman occupation times of Britain. And then it fell out of favor. It returned in favor during the Victorian era in 1850s as morning jewelry, um, which was uh, uh, created in fashion by Queen Victoria. Those would-be mines closed in 1884. And after that, there has virtually been no modern use or, or rather, no modern source of raw material coming out. Now, the other thing to know is that jet is considered not cold to the touch like normal gemstones. Okay? Now, right now, this jet is cool because the temperature in the house is very, very low. But, now I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to hold the beads up. Can you see inside? Can you see the little... It's not a, a, a complete surface. Now, the facets... They're faceted, but they're slightly rounded. So you can tell that that, you know, that it... And there's little chips and little fissures. And that's another way that I could tell that it was real jet. It, it will have cracks. Jet cracks with age. Here's a, another little...
crack in the bead. And basically here's there's the chain. I think it was on a copper chain because it's really corroded badly. I don't believe it was uh, silver. It's a graduated. And it's really, it's about a choker like it, It's 15, 16. But, eventually I'll get it restrung. Uh, and may very well sell it. But I just thought it would be nice to bring this out and show you, give you a little of the history of Jet, uh, and show you what real Jet looks like. I'm sorry the quality couldn't be better, and what the piece that I have to show you couldn't be better. But I hope you enjoy it all the same. Thanks so much.